Will self-driving trucks be tiny or huge by 2030? Meet Elon Musk, chief executive of Tesla. He is on a mission to transform trucks by making them self-driving. And meet Deer, boss of a haulage company whose world is soon to be disrupted by Elon. I'm Simon Darling. This is one of my weekly Life in 2030 prediction videos. In this one I predict how huge self-driving trucks will be by 2030 on a scale of 1 to 10 by looking at the technology, the companies, what's to love and jobs. Will the three technologies needed for self-driving trucks to be huge by 2030 be solved or unsolved. What is needed to see the road by 2030 is already solved. Cameras, radars and sensors enable Elon's and other self-driving trucks to see the road. Cameras see the road and its surroundings detecting traffic lights, reading road signs and seeing pedestrians. In addition, some of Elon's competitors are integrating LiDAR and ultrasonic technology to provide an additional way of measuring the distance to nearby vehicles and the edges of the road. Sensors in the wheels detect curbs and other vehicles when parking. The technology the trucks need to map the route may be solved. Elon uses software in his trucks to organise and compile all the received data so that the truck can find the most efficient route to take. But autonomous systems can't cope with unknown situations, so they need experience on the road to adapt to real-life scenarios as well as humans do. With machine learning, the trucks teach themselves with every trip they make by collecting more route data. Elon's advantage is that he is gathering real-life road data from his existing Tesla car fleet and he is adding 5,000 plus cars a week. Even with this volume of data he doesn't plan to map every route but instead ultimately to rely on the cameras to see and figure out what to do themselves. What is needed to make trucks drive safely may be solved. The truck's actuation system controls the steering, acceleration and braking. During driving the object detection and avoidance system runs continuously to navigate obstacles ensuring a safe drive. There are six levels of autonomous driving ranging from zero, fully human controlled, to five, full autonomy. Currently, the Tesla semi-truck is going to be capable of level four autonomy, which means the truck still has a cockpit and needs a driver to remain to take over control if needed. In summary, because some technologies remain to be solved, this points to being in the middle of the scale by 2030. Now we look at companies. Self-driving trucks will be huge if there are unicorns, startup companies that have a valuation of more than a billion dollars, and when there's plenty of big multinational companies that are active represented by an elephant here. Elon's company Tesla is definitely a unicorn. It's the most valuable vehicle company in the world at the time of filming. Although most famous for its personal car division, in 2017 Elon unveiled Tesla's next generation autonomous trucks, called the Semi, it will go 500 miles on one charge, hauling up to 80,000 pounds or 40 tonnes. It is due to begin delivery in 2021. PepsiCo, Walmart and long-range hauliers have already placed pre-orders. California-based Too Simple also manufactures autonomous trucks and is a massive unicorn you've probably never heard of. It's been conducting test trips recently, shaving 10 hours off a normal 24-hour delivery of freshly picked watermelons by not needing to stop for the driver to rest. It gained permission to test its level 4 autonomy trucks on public roads in Shanghai in 2018. The startup states that it will initiate full autonomy in late 2021, from pickup to delivery without anybody on board. I personally think that's unlikely, because it's so hard to do. Aurora is already well and truly a unicorn. Chris Urmson, a former executive of Google, is the CEO of the company. Aurora is developing a full stack solution called The Driver for its self-driving trucks. Their self-driving trucks will reduce the three days delivery time from Dallas to Los Angeles to less than 24 hours. It is planning to launch a fleet of 20 self-driving trucks in late 2023. Swedish Einride has recently become a unicorn. Einride's T-Pod trucks claim level 4 autonomy and can be remotely controlled from miles away. T-Pods have been operating on public roads in Sweden since May 2019 despite having no cabin. Einride expects to have 200 trucks in operation by the end of 2021. There's plenty of multinational companies that are active, including Volvo, Amazon and Scania. 
Multinationals are investing in startups. Volvo invested in Peloton technology, not the exercise bike company, which has a platooning technology allowing one driver to control two or more trucks. Amazon has a partnership with German automobile maker Daimler to help with its testing of level four self-driving trucks. New concept trucks include Scania with its Blade Runner looking cabinless industrial truck and Komatsu's mining truck. It's amazing thinking that thing has no driver. Because there are unicorns and because corporates are so active, this look at companies points to autonomous trucks being huge by 2030. Each week I publish new predictions about a fascinating aspect of life in 2030. Hit the subscribe button now to make sure you get them. For self-driving trucks to be huge we need to see whether they get 5 star levels of love or 1 star. 5 stars for running non-stop. Deer's drivers can't drive all the time because they have to take breaks by law so they're safe. Elon's autonomous trucks have no such limitations. Self-driving trucks will drive an average of 17 hours a day versus Deer's 8 to 10 hours, enabling faster deliveries. Reducing traffic gets a 4-star rating. Deer's trucks mostly drive during the day, causing traffic congestion in rush hour. Elon's self-driving trucks will be able to plan their routes to avoid driving through cities during peak hours. The autonomous system really doesn't mind being on the road at 3am instead of 3pm. They have the potential to greatly reduce traffic jams and congestion, saving billions of dollars in avoiding time wasted. Safety gets a 3 star rating. Deer's drivers get exhausted and this is a factor in 14% of fatal truck accidents. Elon's trucks use computers that control the truck's speed and movement without getting tired or distracted. Too Simple uses cameras seeing 1km ahead, twice the distance professional truck drivers can see. But because there is a risk that the computers make a mistake and cause a crash, it pulls the rating down to three stars. Autonomous trucks get four stars for being sustainable. Today, fossil fueled trucks account for 29% of transportation related emissions. Elon's trucks are electric and operate with zero emissions when they use green energy. From the point of view of the amount of love given to self-driving trucks by 2030, it points to it being at the high end of the scale. Now we look at jobs. If self-driving trucks are huge, then there's going to be lots of jobs hired and fired. Many truck drivers will be fired when the self-driving trucks one day take over their jobs. On the hired side, one of the unicorns, Too Simple, a company you've probably never heard of, has an incredible 2,600 job vacancies listed on LinkedIn at the time of recording. They are across multiple job functions, including research engineering, analysis, planning, quality control, inspector management, and HR. It's well worth looking at LinkedIn if you're interested in getting a job in the self-driving truck sector. Helping you make good career decisions is a big reason why I'm doing this Life in 2030 channel and courses and weekly meetup. Jobs in fast-growing new sectors like autonomous trucks are exciting and more secure than in older sectors. I was fortunate to join the e-commerce sector with eBay in its early days and have benefited ever since. Jobs in the autonomous truck industry are all around the world. Tesla and Amazon are headquartered in the US, Einride, Volvo and Scania are in Sweden, Komatsu is in Japan, Daimler is in Germany, Too Simple is testing in China. You could set up some job alerts for these companies, it's easy to do on LinkedIn. And click to have a look at the My Life in 2030 course, which I lead and people have a great experience with. Because there's plenty of jobs being hired and fired, from a jobs point of view, autonomous trucks are at the huge end of the scale. Now we've covered all four sections, it's time for me to make a prediction. We've seen the technology needed is maybe solved, there are plenty of unicorns, there's lots to love, and loads of new jobs being hired. This means that on a scale of 1 to 10, self-driving trucks are at the huge end of the scale by 2030 at an 8. If you like this, sign up for my Life in 2030 newsletter for updates on this prediction and others. Click the subscribe button to get our next prediction in a couple of days time. And have a look at this prediction or that one. I'll see you in the next video.